What's up everybody and welcome back to my let's play of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode we came here to the Hyrule Ridge or the area I for some reason want to refer to as Tabantha and completed most of the shrines here, at least the ones that we can do right now. And in this episode we're going to be heading to a brand new region, this region right up here in the top left corner of the map. Um, and we'll be doing a lot of shrines there and that's pretty much all we need to do there because there's not too much of like a story or there's not anything to do with the story in that region at least not yet there will be like maybe one or two things story based in that area but it won't be for quite some time so um the first things first what we're going to want to do is we actually just need to head back to um rito village and um if you haven't bought the uh, rito gear to keep you warm i would suggest definitely doing that now if you decided to wait because the region we're heading to is kind of a giant snowy mountain and it's freezing cold so um yeah you can just see it kind of off to the right of the screen but also right there yeah that whole snowy area that's where we're going so uh you're gonna need to be completely prepared for that um so if we just continue to fall all the way down and then we'll grab our paraglider and honestly falling that far and then pulling out your paraglider that quick doesn't break Ling's arms or something i don't know what it will um, so also, while we're here, and the game took a while to load that, <laughs> that was kind of freaky, um, we're going to trade in our 12 uh, spirit orbs for stamina vessels. Alright, so there's our first, and luckily we want to see that cutscene again. And uh, if you guys can hear, like, chirping in the background, um, once again, I'm in a slightly different location from where I normally record, and so... There's a chimney to my left, and so there's birds that have found their way inside the chimney, and so now they sit in there and just chirp like over and over and over again, and you can't like weed them out or anything, and yeah, it's just a pain, but um, I don't think you guys can hear it, at least I hope not, then again you probably can, and I'll try to kind of relieve that as much as possible um, when it comes to like record like um, when I'm like um, rendering the like audio I guess or like I don't even know what you would call it. I guess I would you'd say rendering of the video um, so yeah that's pretty much all I had to say about that um, so now we have a lot more stamina so we can run around for longer thank God because we were having trouble climbing around in the last episode and how did I run out of stamina I wasn't even holding the B button which is kind of weird, but okay. Um, so n next thing we want to do is we want to head over to that stable, and I believe I can hop through right here, and I believe I can glide right on over here, and oh my gosh, these birds are so freaking loud. Jeez, I get we're in Rito Village, but you guys don't have to freak out about it. <laughs> Ooh, and we got a wild berry. Um, I don't actually remember what those do. I know you can like cook them with stuff and whatnot, and, uh, yeah, our good buddy Cass is here, but, um, he just sings the same story back from, like, the other stable as well, and whatnot, so there's no need to speak to him here. Um, yeah, I want my horse, please. Um, we're gonna take Epona, and we're gonna get out of here. Alright, so once they bring Epona to us, um, we're pretty much just going to head directly to the left, like, towards Hyrule Castle, and the path will split off and kind of make its way up to the, uh, top. So, um... With this, it well, you know, I'll check it out when I get up there. And uh, yeah, this is the path we need to head on right here. We'll run right past Beetle. I'm not going to talk to him and ask him if it's uh, appreciation day or whatnot. Do those paths just lead to the same place? Well, um, apparently they do. Um, so the first shrine, I guess, technically could be considered like Tabantha slash Hyrule Ridge. But, like, if you look on your map, it's technically right just barely inside of this next region's tower. And so that's why I've left it until now. I've been wanting to go get this shrine just because it's right here, and I know it's right here. But I've just been leaving it alone just because for that reason and pretty much that reason only. So I think it's actually right off this cliff, and I want to leave Epona right here. There you go, buddy. Slow down. Alright, we'll hop off 
And, uh, yeah, there's this giant gorge here, so let's say we glide over the top and then just fall. Because if you can just barely see it, there's the shrine. Now, the only problem is, now that we're down here, we're going to have to find a way all the way back up. That could be a problem, but luckily we have Rivali's Gale, and we have all three, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem, I would say. Like, getting back up to the top, because, like... You know, once we find like a solid ledge that we can stand on, just use your volley's gale and then glide most of the way up and then just continue to do that. And oh, it's this shrine. Um, stop it there, maybe. Ah, oh, dang. So close. Can another ball get here, please? And there we go. First try. Wow, I actually did that. So yeah, you want to stop the platform right there and get the uh, ball to kind of like roll down and into the uh, button kind of thing there. And I've never seen anyone get that first try, so you almost always have to have like two boulders in order to do that. So, or at least from like what I've seen. And um, yeah, there's a chest there. Um, so what we need to do is take these barrels right here. And uh, I don't think I have a sledgehammer because I think I kind of lost mine, maybe, possibly. Oh no, I still have one. Okay, that's great. Um, so what we need to do is kind of hit that over, kind of directly in front of us, and oh, of course it's badly damaged. <sighs> okay, wow. Um, if this thing breaks, I'm going to be kind of upset, not going to lie, because we kind of need this thing. I'm not sure, we might use the, uh, the long blade that we got like forever ago, because I never really used it. And a quick trip for aiming is, um, if you aim, like with the uh, first person view, Link will almost always look like in that direction. And did I not hit that? Wow, okay, apparently I did not hit that. Um, let's try this one more time. I believe the chest actually just contains like a falcon bow or something like that, if I remember correctly. So um, we may just leave it alone if I can't get it um, on this turn. Uh, okay, I'm gonna hit this thing at least a couple times. And, okay, we're not doing anything with that. Or, screw it. We'll just go. And, um, there's another chest over here. This one's a lot easier, so I'll do this one since we're here. And I think this one may contain a Knight's Claymore or something. Possibly. And luckily our eightfold long blade, or, yeah, eightfold long blades damage, so, you know, whoopity do. But, yeah, once this gets here, it hits the switch, and luckily there's no cutscene, so we get to save a couple of seconds on the episode, I guess. Inside the chest is... No, oh, it's actually a Thunderblade. Do we even have one of those? Yeah, we have, like, three, plus a Thunder Spear. I mean, it works, so I wouldn't really complain, so... Yeah, I guess we'll just take it with us, since we have, like, two open slots anyway. Might as well. I mean, you never know when we need to set something... Or not on fire. I'm gonna set on fire. That does, it does not work like that. And, okay, why is this barrel, like, not under the... You know what? I'm not gonna ask. I, I don't want to know. Who's been here before me? I don't think anyone's able to get in here but me, so that's kind of strange. Is that water down there? Uh, well, I guess we'll just hit this with a Master Sword. Might as well. No, that is not water. That's an Eternal Abyss. Did I hit that with enough force? Is it gonna fall? Fall. Oh, come on. Really? You're not gonna fall? Mmm. I wonder if I could just freeze that and then like hit it with like a couple arrows. Wouldn't that knock it over? Maybe? No. Wow. Okay, let me get another barrel in and use up the master sword. Jeez. I don't know. Why did you. What is happening right now? Okay. Link. Just place the barrel right there, freeze it, and start swinging away. Not that way, more like that way. There you go, buddy. Is that gonna work? That didn't work, did it? It's not going high enough, I find. Can I get a bomb over there, maybe? No, okay, what am I doing wrong? Like, I cannot get this thing to fall over, and I really don't know why. Alright, let's try this one more time. I mean, we're gonna have to try it over and over again, because that's how we, like, actually beat the shrine. But, like, I will cut ahead if this doesn't work. Um, 
Let's move out of the way real quick. Do that. And uh, I just seem to go up a little more. Just knock it over, that gummit. There we go. Finally, jeez. And luckily it's a button, so if nothing were to happen to fall, we wouldn't be in so much trouble. Now we can finish off this shrine. I thought that might take me forever. I've never had a problem like with that portion of the shrine. It was always like the thing back there that I couldn't hit the switch on. It was just gonna give us like a falcon bow, so it wasn't like too great. It wasn't like that good of a weapon, so we can just leave it be. All right, so we'll grab another spirit orb, and I feel like that's pretty much all we've been doing for like the past couple of episodes. I haven't seen like any major like story portions of the game like in a long time but um i'm totally fine with that i enjoy just like exploring the land and like finding shrines and all of that i find it pretty enjoyable and uh one thing about this game is the load times are really quick too so that's not something like we have to worry about or anything all right so um guess we might as well climb our way up to the top and i guess i probably could put my climbing gear on probably make it go by a little quicker but uh, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I should be able to jump most of my way up. Well, I say that, and now I'm probably not going to make it. Um, come on. Link, you can do it. He didn't do it. Alright, this is what I get. That's, that's, that's what I get. Um, Alright, let's try this again. All right, this time without so much jump. Actually, you know what? We're gonna put the we're gonna put the climbing gear on, guys. We're gonna put the climbing gear on, and we're gonna climb so much faster, and still burn through the same amount of stamina. At least I think. Or does our stamina wheel go faster? Maybe it does go faster. I'm not sure. I've never like tested it. I guess I don't know. I could be right. I could be wrong. It just depends. But right now we seem to have a lot more stamina than we did heading up here and uh yeah yeah look at how close we were guys we were so freaking close and i just missed it but i guess there's not anything i can really do about that can i all right let's see how much farther i can get i will i just barely climb up this and it won't take me like but a couple of leaps and then we'll use rivali's gale for the first time i guess all right let's get up here a little ways and then hop rivali's gale and uh, we'll glide over here, I guess. Though there's not really much of a ledge to like grab onto once we're here. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to get all the way up there. Um, let's use Ravali's Gale one more time because we pretty much won't need it anywhere else here, like in the episode. So we should be okay. And uh, this may be a ledge that we can like stand on. It may not be like flat, but. We should be able to, like, possibly just stand on, like, the slanted edge of this. Okay, probably not now that I look at it. It's probably not going to let us stand there. But, uh, this right up here, we should be able to stand on fairly easily. And you know what, guys? If I fall again, I'm just going to, like, warp back to Rito Village and glide all the way down here. Because, like, I don't care. And I'll cut ahead, probably, is what I'll do. Just to save a little bit of time. Because everything that I want to do in this episode could take a good long while. I would think, um, but we'll just see how it goes. If I can just make it a little farther, I should be able to at least walk a little bit, at least enough to like not die. Um, there we go. We regained a good bit of our stamina. We've regained a good bit more, and um, maybe be able to just climb it up and still keep Rivali's Gale for one more time. Oh yeah, we're super close. Yeah, we're right here. Hey, opponent, how's it going? Yeah, so that was actually pretty quick. I didn't think it was gonna be that fast. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and equip this because it's about to get really cold or really fast, guys. And uh, once we get to this region, the first thing I'll do is probably head to the tower. Because, oh jeez, once we hit the tower, um, we'll pretty much just head... Um, there's two shrines, like, pretty close nearby. And then there's a stable up ahead as well that we can also hit. And that's probably where we'll end off the episode. And I'll also show off one more thing once we reach the tower, which is right there. And you can see our uh, cold meter dipped all the way down. And I, the one thing I don't like about this region is even during the middle of the day, even though like technically right now it is really late at night, during the day the sun doesn't really come out. It's more of just like snow. Like you never know like on a snow day how it like I guess looks. 
people of you who are down south like me may or may not know what that looks like. I mean, most people probably do. They've seen one at least once in their life. But, you know, there's some people probably who've never seen snow, depending on where you live. But, I mean, like, if you live, like, in the northern hemisphere or you're, like, really low in the southern hemisphere, um, you've probably seen snow, but if not, you've probably never seen it, like, during the day. But, like, if you, I mean, most of you probably know what that looks like. That's kind of what it looks like during the day, like, midday, when it's snowing here, like, because it's, like, constantly snowing here. It's, like, almost never not snowing, and it's kind of annoying. Um, but luckily, snowing does not affect your climbing ability, so there's no need to worry about that. And uh, I don't think we can climb these either, but, uh, yeah, this is the Hebra Tower in the Hebra region, and, okay, no, we can't. Um... It'll be a lot quicker if I just take my bow out and then take out some fire arrows and shoot this because it'll go away a lot quicker. Just two arrows should... Okay, three. I just need enough to squeeze by. I don't need, like, a whole bunch in order to, like, I don't know. I don't really know where I was going with that. Uh, like, just to, like, burn it all away. I just need enough fire to, like, melt one of them away and then I can get the rest just fine. Um, we may use Revali's Gale here just because we have it, and um, it'll get us up there a little quicker. Might as well, and that's a great view of your butt, Link. That's fabulous. And uh, yeah, we're already here, and you guys can probably hear my like, controller clicking around like crazy, and I'm sorry about that. It's kind of closer to me than my mic is, but that's kind of be expected, right? I try to keep that out of videos, but it, uh, it's kind of hard unless you like stick your controller like under a desk or something, or just like and we're really quiet with like your movements on like the like controller and stuff but I'm honestly not one of those people so anyway let's scan the area and um, see what's up with this region I think even the map shows the snow I don't exactly know I honestly forgot what the map looks like now that I think about it like if it shows like terrain and stuff Okay, not really. It just kind of shows brown. Does it show white up here for snow? No, it doesn't, but it does show, like, the terrain. Which is pretty helpful, um, especially navigating through here, because navigating through here can be a pain. Um, anyway, the um, little kind of special area um, where you can farm rubies, guys, is uh, right here. So if we glide down here, we can talk to this guy right here, and he'll... Basically what will end up happening is he'll set up these little poles right here down there at the bottom and you just roll the snowball down to the bottom. You get some rubies and stuff. He's got a little shack here, nothing too special. And it's just kind of a mini game and it's a quick way to rack up a lot of rubies. And uh, I forgot what this guy looks like. He's pretty old to be honest, but uh, it's pretty cool I guess. Um, so let's actually run back over here and uh, I'm going to have to try to remember where these shrines are by memory because I don't have it like necessarily like to like retained in my memory like exactly where it is I have a general idea of like where it is but like I don't know exactly where it's at and of course you guys show up you know what just get out of here opponent come on girl let's just get out of here before they kill me or you because I don't really want you dead either because that would also be bad all right come here girl let's turn this ship around all right jeez get over here can't just run away from me like that. Are those acorns or is like... Oh, they are. Oh, I'll take those. I kind of need those uh, for uh, something a little bit later on. So, um, the first shrine should be somewhere kind of down here in like this region over here. It may be down over like up there and then kind of like over a little bit. I don't know, guys. I'll have to like think really hard about it because I don't remember like where they all are and um, because normally I have like a map pulled up so I can kind of see like pretty much exactly where they are but like can't really do that here with um I don't have a second monitor like I normally would in my normal recording location so it definitely makes it harder to like know where things are in case you forget but I think the first one should be right up over here and then yeah, right down there should be the first shrine. And I believe you have to do something to, like, actually get in here. And, uh, yeah, of course, most of the shrines here are 
uh, gonna be shrine quests, but then again, they shouldn't really be because there's not like, or most of them don't have shrine quests because there's not a lot of people around, and since or because of that, um, most of them aren't going to be um, like uh, the oh, what are they called again? Blessing shrines. There we go. Uh, yeah, most of them aren't blessing shrines. So, and I think the first shrine is somewhere in this area. I want to say, I think you have to roll a snowball or something down this hill, get it to the bottom, like the door, there's a door down there, and you have to roll it down the right path, and uh, I believe the correct path is, um, let's see, yeah, it should be this one right here, just gotta follow it, and I believe it's all the way um, over here, it doesn't really matter if you do this one or the one on the right, yeah, but the door is down there, and then... When you open the door, you kind of get a... Yeah, you, first you have to push these things around, and it's a pain in the butt to do that. Let me tell you, because, like, it takes a while for these things to get, like, going. And actually, never mind, you don't have to do that. You can just lay it down on the path right here, can you? And it should be just fine. And, oh, jeez, I've already forgotten which one it is. I want to say it's this one, so let's follow it and see. Yeah, the snowballs will get bigger as they, like, go down the path. And, uh, actually, that's probably not gonna be it, is it? No. Um, sadly, it's not. Um, great. Um, kind of failed. That's great. Good job, Connor. Um, so, actually, let's follow this and make sure we remember exactly which one this is. Uh, just to make sure we don't mess that up again, because I'd really hate to fail it twice. I don't think I've ever failed that before, actually, now that I think of it. In my, like, three playthroughs of the game. Out of three playthroughs, two of them I actually came to this region because the first playthrough was like when it first came out, and I didn't really do much like off the ball kind of stuff. I guess if that makes sense. So what we need to do is we just need to come down here and then throw it in order to make sure it kind of hits the path because you can't really make it go down that path without storing it on that path, I guess. So um, let's pick you up, and then we'll carry you all the way down there, and then we'll just throw it in and see what happens, I guess. Um, but like the whole point is for like the snowball to hit the door. I think if you go down there, there should be a sign that says something like that, to kind of give you a hint, I guess, in order like to let you know like how you're supposed to do this. Let's see what. Are you kidding me? Wow. Um, thanks, game. That wasn't supposed to happen. Alright guys, third time's a charm, I guess. Um, I didn't know that was going to happen either. Yeah, that's the f that's a first. I don't think I've ever seen that happen in this game before, but I guess there's a first for everything, guys. Um, so let's not throw it this time, maybe, and then just kind of drop it and see what happens. Maybe this time it'll work. At least I hope so, because I kind of need it to, because kind of recording an episode here so game if you could do me the pleasure of like working that would be great all right there we go it's going now it's picking up speed it's hopefully it goes all the way across come on you can do it all the way there you go all the way down and as soon as it hits the door it should break but it should cause the doors to open or just knock the door over that works too and the snowball will just kind of sit there and yeah, look how big it is now. He's a big boy. And ooh, actually, it's not all dark. Hold it, hold up. I've never seen it like actually be sunny here, I don't think. That's really cool. We'll probably won't get to see it for very long because we'll be in a shrine and then it'll just go back to snowing again. But that was a cool view, I guess. At least what we got of it. Alright, so anyway, let's head into the shrine and see what this is about. Um, this one in particular, I don't know, like off the top of my head exactly what's involved or like how it like yeah what's going on in the shrine okay tandem well that seems fairly easy right just shoot the and the ball falls and then yeah the door opens woo we did it okay just make sure there's no chest around or anything and wow I'm glad that thing just sits like nice and pretty on top and doesn't like shoot off to like the left or the right um, I know which one I have to shoot first. I only have to shoot one of those. And then what's over here on this one? Alright, that's the exit, right? Yes, yes it is. Um, that one's gonna be a bit trickier as well. 
you have to probably freeze it and then drop it. Um, this one, you only have to shoot that rope right there, and you're good. And then we can go inside and open this chest. And uh, of course, since I didn't know this, I didn't remember the shrine. I'm not gonna know the chest. So what's inside? A diamond. Wow. Okay, that's really good. And is that all the shrines? Yeah, it is. I just don't know all the shrines. It's, we're only half. We're not even halfway there yet, guys. But uh, this is shrine number 50. In case you weren't paying attention. Uh, yeah, this is shrine 50. This is the 50th one. This is kind of almost halfway, but not really. Um, yeah, we'll shoot that and then shoot both of those and then let it drop and then booyah, we're out of here. Shrine was pretty quick, not gonna lie. I was hoping it wouldn't be too long of a shrine because, uh, yeah, it's kind of important. No, one of my arrows is over there. I could have picked it up. Darn it. Oh, well. I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, we'll try to probably just do one more shrine in this episode and then, uh, well, maybe do two more because we'll do the other one that's kind of in this area and look there's 50 on the uh home or i guess like the menu screen i guess there's uh 50 shrines and uh, i'm not sure when i'll be live streaming the uh next korok seed video which will, or live streaming the, not really video but just the next uh area of koroks but um when i do i will be sh i mean it will be on uh youtube and uh, I gotta figure out where the next shrine is. I wanna say it's like in the water, like around here somewhere. Um, probably best if I went to the uh, tower and then glided over, I think. I think that's where the next one is. If it's not there, um, you're gonna see me cut ahead here, but I'm gonna continue to talk about, I don't know really, to be honest. I don't plan these videos before I start, I just go. <laughs> Yeah, I just, yeah, I go, I just do. Um, but I'm gonna continue to talk because if I don't make a cut and I'm right, then that would be kind of bad of just dead silence, so. And, ooh, no, the sun's still out. Ooh, wow, it's pretty. Oh, I wanna get a look, I wanna get a look, I wanna get a look, okay. Oh, wow, that's, that's pretty. Yeah, there's another shrine right down there and there's the, uh, you can just see the horse's head over there. And uh, there's another stable right over there. They're pretty much within eye distance of each other, but across a huge valley right there, of course. And this is a pretty view. You even get to see Hyrule Castle, Death Mountain, whatever this mountain's called. <laughs> and uh, there's those mountains over there. Ooh, there's the uh, mountain that's shining, by the way, guys. That's what we were uh, near in the uh, last episode. Uh, so if you guys ever see it glowing and you want to check it out, you can go short back to the shrine that I mentioned in the last episode and go see what's up. So yeah, the shrine that we were just at was right down there in that little valley. And uh, the shrine that we're about to go check out is probably right over this ledge, I would say. And there's our horse right there. Actually, let's land up here. Um, another good way to get through this region is shield surfing. Um, and ooh, there's a chest here. Oh, let's open that up, see what's inside. You know, there was one here. Forest Roller's Bow. Uh, inventory's full. Do I really want that? Um, I just got one in the last episode, I think. Well, let me drop the, uh, drop the Traveler's Bow. I don't know why we still have that. Jeez. It's like our worst bow. You pick up the Forest Roller's Bow. It's not bad. It's not a bad bow. Um, don't you press X, then A or something. Like, X, A. Yeah, there we go. And, uh, you can Shield Surf. Which uh, can take off the durability of your shield, but considering we have the Hylian shield, I'm not too worried about it. It takes like forever for this thing to break, and I mean like literally ages. Like I think I got about a hundred hours into the, my gameplay with it, maybe like on my other playthrough because I just played it a bunch. And yeah, there's the shrine just just right there. I think you actually have to climb under this thing in order to get there. I'm not 100% sure. I had a feeling it was near the water, because I just remember being there was being like ice cold water nearby the shrine and whatnot. And uh, these are the little um, mini taluses, stone taluses, but they're ice taluses and they will freeze you if you're not careful. Um, so, no, we're going to have to go about this another way then. Um, probably the best way to go about this is going to be to put pillars of ice in the way. And then kind of jump across from one pillar to the next. If we can even fit one, like, 
under there. Yeah, it's gonna be way over there. Um, of course, the water's cold, so you kind of have to like be super careful, or just have enough hearts to tank all the damage, like this. Because, geez, Link, get out of the water, please. Thank you. Um, yeah, this one's always a hard one to get to and a hard one to get out of. We'll definitely work back to the tower, though. Um, I can't use my runes while I'm up here, can I? Alright, looks like we're just going to tank some damage then, guys. Is what it looks like. Pretty much what's about to happen. We're going to tank some damage and hope we can make it. So, nope, jump. Okay, now just tank it. Because you can make it. You're going to lose a lot of health, but you can do it. See, you did it. You're fine. And uh, here we are at the shrine already. Yeah, I never like to get into the shrine, especially if you're on, if you have low health. Yeah, make sure if you have low health, eat, because I ate away like half my health just now. And, uh, oh, is this a, it's a blessing shrine. I didn't know that. I thought there was only one of those here. And there's two. There may be more, actually. It could be three. And we got a gold ruby. Sweet. We're back over a thousand after a while. And uh, we can pretty much just get out of here and head on to the next one. In, like, record time. Which is pretty cool. Um, this episode's going by a lot quicker than I thought it would. Um, that's, yeah. Spirit Orb, thanks. And, uh, oh, yes, our hearts refilled. I was about to eat something and then... I forgot that shrines restore your health, which I guess is kind of a good thing for that one because I guess it kind of expects you to like just go for it and lose a lot of health and like take that risk and it just allows you to get a couple of rubies and then like refill your health without having to go through something like strenuous like an actual trial. I think that's a, like good game design in my opinion. But anyway, we'll just work back over to the shrine, and then we'll head down to the uh, stable and take on its shrine. And uh, no, it's not a blessing shrine, so we're good there. We don't have to. Well, I mean, I guess we're not good. I mean, blessing shrines are always a, you know, a good shrine, like kind of a break from like the puzzles and stuff. Though the puzzles aren't particularly too hard, especially if you've been through them all before. You kind of already know like the solutions to them, I guess. So it just kind of makes it a little bit easier. All right, so, and oh my gosh. Okay, maybe you birds can shut up, please. Thanks. Maybe. No. They're back talking to me, guys. I don't, even, I don't even know if you guys can hear them, so I may just sound stupid, but if you can, they are, like, going crazy right now, and I don't know what happened, but they are absolutely nuts. Maybe mom came back with food or something. I'm not sure. I don't know what causes birds to, like, go crazy like that. Or what causes them to get inside chimneys, either. I guess because it's warm. I I'm not sure. I really don't know. Um, I'm not a bird expert. I'm, I play video games <laughs> on YouTube. I should tell you something. <laughs> okay, I'm, like, roasting myself right here. What is wrong with me? And every other, like, Let's Player video game player on the internet. I'm just roasting them all. Which really, it's not a bad thing to do. Like, I mean, if it makes money, why, why not? I mean, come on. Oh God, don't charge me. He dead anyway. And uh, yeah, you're the one with the big horn on your head, and you run away. That makes a lot of sense. But the big antlered um, moose elk thing charged right at me. All right, so we're in another shrine already. Well, wow, that's like. Normally, like, four shrines would take me about 40 minutes, but right now it seems to be only about, like, 34-ish, maybe? Which is pretty good. We're, this episode's gonna be a little bit on the shorter side in terms, because these four were the only ones that I had planned for the entire episode. Alright, so directing the wind. Um, can I just, like... Okay, I fell. I don't want to get out of here. Um... I want out, thanks. Here we go. Can I just throw the ball in and it'd be fine? Right? I mean, it shouldn't be a problem. At least I wouldn't think it would be. Or am I... This is probably way too simple to be right, right? Okay, the platform raises, but doesn't stay... It stays raised, okay. I know what to do, though, I think. 
Um, I need magnesis. So then we have to block this wind. And block this wind, and then throw it from, like, uh, this end over here. Hop up on the platform, and then go. At least I think that's how it needs to go. It seems like it. Yeah, that should work. Alright, so... What we'll do is I'll hop down and this platform will lower and I'll go ahead and stand on it just to be safe. And then we'll throw the ball down and let it go. The wind's going to blow it over there, then to the left. And then this way, up the ramp, and then across, and... Wow. That kind of stinks, not going to lie. Um, let's try that again, but... This time, I may just, like, hold it here and then just drop it and then run. And we'll see how that goes. That should be better now. Um, okay, why does it keep doing that? That's a little strange. Am I missing something here, perhaps? Maybe so. Um, Let's try it from here, um, and then just sprint as absolutely fast as we can. Oh, Link, did he make it? Oh, wow, just barely. And that actually worked. I don't think it was supposed to work like that, but it did. And I'm okay with that. And oh, there's a chest over there. Can I grab one of those from here? Probably not. I probably want to be able to get back. Oh, jeez, I fell, too. That's great. Absolutely fantastic. I think if you move this over and, like, up there, you can drop the ball from where I had it, sprint back, and just make it before the ball goes into the hole. And then you should be able to go across and get that chest. All right, so let's do this one more time. And, uh... We should get it right this time, but also um, we should be able to grab the chest as well. Hopefully that ball doesn't go faster than it did. And oh, geez, it fell. Of course it did, because why wouldn't it? Um, all right, so let's regain our stamina. Drop the ball right here, no problems, and then just sprint as fast as you possibly can. And why does it keep missing? Holy crap! What is your problem? Just roll in the hole. Alright, so look, I'm going to place you right here, and you're going to blow over there, and then I'm going to run as fast as I can all the way up and in here. Just don't fall in the hole until I get here. Thanks, ball. Alright, we're here one more time. We get to see the cutscene one more time. And we get to do this and um, actually grab this chest now, which is great. I think we can climb up this, right? Oh, you're kidding, right? Don't play these games with me, game. Don't do not do this to me. Jeez, you know what? Screw the chest. I don't think I need it. I, I, but I want it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this again. Oh my gosh, it fell off again. Oh, jeez. Alright, sometimes I don't understand, like, the concepts that this game is trying to, like, get across by, like, telling me that the ball is not going to roll in the hole. Oh, wow, that was a little too close. In fact, I think I need both of the things um, in order to grab that chest, because we can't stand on top of this and get it, that's for sure. And if I jump here, I can't jump over there. So you know what? Yeah, we're just going to leave that chest alone. I'm sure it's not important at all. If it's got rubies, oh well. I'm not going to get it. Because, uh, yeah, we're kind of running. I mean, we're not running out of time. I've had longer episodes. But I wouldn't want this one to be too long, considering all we've done is shrines. And I don't want to just bore you with, like, shrines. Even though, technically, all the videos from, like, the past... Or, like, the past... I'd say, what, the f four episodes have all been shrines, I think, for the most part. So, like, I mean, if you're already bored of shrines, don't watch the next couple of episodes, because that's what most of them will probably end up being, I would think. And uh, now we're also here at a stable, so we can call Epona over here as well, and 
unless that's her, which it shouldn't be. No, it's not. Uh, but this dude's talking about shield surfing. We'll grab the shoulders, soldier's shield in case we want to shield surf, I guess, because might as well. And, uh, ooh, there's a dog here. Also, by the way, I don't think I've ever mentioned this, but if you feed a dog meat, it will take you to a secret chest and stuff. Anyway, yeah. what's up? Yeah, we meet again. I didn't really dress for the weather here, but the world needs Beatles goods. What are you looking for, or are you selling? Oh, it's not a customer appreciation day. Yeah, and he seems pretty cold. Ooh, it's freezing. Um, I'm capable of quite unnecessary pursuits of power with some childish dream of adventure. The sword may be good for something monster, sure, but it's not like a sword alone makes a hero, you know? Uh, I love adventure, huh? I guess you did venture all the way out to the stable on the mountains, didn't you? And that's all you have to say. Cool. Um, you know what? I think I'm just gonna end off the video here. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I forgot my outro, but, uh, thanks for watching, and, oh jeez, I've... How do I forget my own outro is the real question. I've really forgotten it. <laughs> like, for a second, I tried to think about it. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this part, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. There we go. And I forgot it again because I stopped. So if you guys like this part, a like rating would be greatly appreciated as it helps out the channel a lot. And if you want to see more content like this, please do consider subscribing. And also share the video because that's cool. And... Once again, guys, my name is Connor. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.